So I hope that you have seen all the questions and answered the questions. So the questions were from 8085. And this video is a series uh, part 3 video for uh, preparation of Keltronic Engineer Examination, ISRO Technical Assistant and Bark Stifendry Trainee Examinations. Okay. And also for uh, whichever examinations you are preparing for, these subject wise videos I am actually concentrating or I am doing uh, for those people who are preparing for any competitive examination for that matter of electronics okay so uh, i hope that uh, you have answered the question now let us see the solutions okay so the questions were from 805 uh, 8085 microprocessor so the first question is 8085 microprocessor is a 8 bit microprocessor designed by dash it is actually asking which company has manufactured 8085 okay so the correct answer is 8085 is actually an Intel manufactured processor. Okay, so it is a microprocessor and it is manufactured by Intel. Okay, so if you see 8051, it is a microcontroller. It is again manufactured by Intel. 8085 is again from Intel. Okay, now uh, it is actually it is not 8085. It is 8085. Okay, you have to tell it as 8085. That is the way generally it has been said. Mostly we will be saying only 8085 and 8051 but this is 8085 okay. So you should be saying it as 8085. Anyway it, it was manufactured and it is designed by Intel in 1977 okay. Just for information I am saying it is uh, designed in 1977 okay. So the correct answer is option C which is Intel okay. Now next question. So uh, the questions were actually from medium to easy level okay since it is from uh, the microprocessor and no programming questions were actually added so the questions will be from medium to easy level only okay next question in 8085 16 bit address bus which can address up to dash that is how many bytes or how many kilobytes it can address so if the best address best width is 16 bit means it will be addressing up to 64 kilobytes okay 64 kilobytes of address it can fetch okay so the correct answer is option c it can address up to 64 kilobytes of address okay or data okay so the correct answer is option c next question that is the third question there are dash general purpose registers in 8085 processor okay so how many general purpose registers are present in 8085 okay so mostly people will be uh, knowing about 8051 but 8085 not all persons will be knowing okay so here i'm trying to give you some informations also so for the case of 8085 there are six general purpose registers okay and the registers are named as b register b c d e h and l okay so these are the six general purpose registers of 8085 or 8085 and each of this register can hold eight bit or one byte of data okay one byte data so 8085 can actually hold or it is having six general purpose registers and each of uh, which will be holding of one byte data okay so these are the registers and the correct answer is option B. Okay. Next question. The fourth question. What is true about program counter? Okay. So the question is asking what is a function of a program counter? Okay. I will read out the options. A. It is an 8-bit register which holds temporary data of arithmetic and logical operations. No, it is not actually used for the purpose of holding the arithmetic operation result or anything. Next option. When an instruction is fetched from the memory, then it is stored to the program counter. No, it is not. Program counter uh, doesn't really hold any instruction or anything. Then C. It provides timing and control signals. No, that's also wrong. Option D. It is a 16-bit register used to store memory address location of the next instruction to be executed. That is the correct answer. Okay. So, if you have a program counter, let it be PC. Write it here. Okay. Let it be PC. And this is a memory. 
okay this is your pc and this is your memory okay memory location and uh, consider that the processor is executing one by one instructions and now it is here okay now it is here and next instruction to be executed is actually present here so this locations address okay address will be stored into the pc okay the pc will be storing the address of next instruction to be executed okay this is a very important information a lot of people know what is no know, know the term pc but doesn't really know what is it doing okay so whenever a processor is executing a set of instructions or uh, some um, uh, some programs when it is executing the next instruction to be executed its address is getting stored into the program counter so every time when the microprocessor is executing it will be looking into the pc okay so that is program counter and it is a 16 bit register okay this is a case for uh, 8051 also it is again a 16 bit register here also it is a 16 bit register okay i hope the concept is clear correct answer is option d okay next question fifth question okay so the fifth question is the signal indicates that another master is requesting the use of address and databases so out of this uh, in, there are there are some signals signals given in the option so out of the signals which signal is indicating that another master or other person is actually requesting for the best or other person is using the best the options are a ready b hold c h l d a d i n t a so i n t a is for interrupt ready is ready is indicating that it is uh, ready to give the access so the correct answer is hold okay hold is the instruction of the signal it is actually a signal hold is a signal which is indicating a person which is requesting for the best access consider that one person or one entity that is one peripheral or some unit is asking for the best but the best is used by some other masters or some other units okay so the hold signal will be given for this requesting unit okay can be any peripheral or anything so the best is not now available it is being used or some person is ask, actually asking an access to the best okay so hold is a signal that is being used to indicate this condition okay so correct answer is option b hold is the correct answer okay next question there is a sixth question this signal is used as a system clock for devices connected with the microprocessor okay so system clock signal that out of the given options which is a system clock signal x1 x2 no there is no such signals clock out correct answer is actually clock out clock in no it is not clock in clock in will be the signal given from the external crystal oscillator and then uh, it will be divided then it will be given as clock out okay so the correct answer is clock out so the signal which is used as a system clock for the devices connected to the microprocessor is actually clock out signal okay correct answer is option b next question that is seventh question question which of the following is true about control and status signals a these signals are used to identify the nature of operation yes the status signals specifically speaking the status signals are used to identify the nature whether any overflow is generated whether any uh, things is uh, like whether any conditions are happening it is identified with the help of the status signals okay so option a is actually representing the status signals then option b these are three control signals and sorry these yeah these are three control signals and three status signals okay it doesn't mean it, it means that there are some control signals and some status signals three uh, can be more than that also okay anyway it is related to control and status signals only c three status signals are io bar m s0 and s1 that is option c option d all the above actually all the options are speaking regarding the control and status signals only okay so correct answer is option d question is mvi k comma 20f is an example of dash 
that is it is asking the various addressing modes out of this which is this addressing mode a immediate addressing mode register addressing mode c direct addressing mode d indirect addressing mode so mvi is actually representing for the case of 80 that is 8085 microprocessor it is a move moving of immediate values that means it is indicating that you have to move the 20f to the k register okay so mvi k comma 20f means immediate value has to be moved so in this mode the 8 or 16 bit data in the specified uh, is specified in the instruction itself as one of the operand so if you see the 20f so 20f is actually the data okay so i'll write the instruction for you mvi k 20f right so in the case of actually uh, 8051 the immediate address mode is like this move a comma hash 20h okay or 20f or whatever value here this hash is actually representing this is a immediate value that means this is the one of the operands or the directly operands this is the directly data given in one of the operand okay so you have to copy the data to this a and in the case of 8085 or 8085 so i'm so here 8085 mvi k comma 20f means you have to take this data this is the data itself not an address location it is a data you have to copy to this register which is k okay so the correct answer is option a so this is nothing but a immediate addressing mode okay so these are the eight questions these are the eight questions which i have included in this video so uh, if you want a video series on 8085 i'm again saying it is 8085 itself because we have already practiced like this quite a number of times so there will be some time taken to change it okay so anyway you have to say it as 8085 okay so uh, if you want a video series on 8085 microprocessor we if you want some topics from 8085 please to mention in the comment section we'll be doing it okay so if you found the questions useful please to give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching